Hello friends, my name is Rajiv and I am going to teach you how to use your IR remote for controlling your home appliances. As IR remote, you can use any remote which is already available at your home like a TV remote or any audio system remote. To start with the project, you will need a microcontroller which you can select from any AVR pick or anything. For the tutorial, we are using the microcontroller named Atmega 16. This is a 8-bit microcontroller with uh, 40 pins. It is having 32 input-output pins. Together with this uh, microcontroller, we will also need a TSOP sensor. TSOP sensor is a device which is used to detect infrared rays at 38 kilohertz. It will be easily detect the rays emitted from your uh, IR remote. Next, we will need a DB9 connector which will be used to connect the programmer to your microcontroller to transfer the hex file. We will also need a 12 volt jack to connect 12 volt power supply, a 705 to convert 12 volt into 5 volt, a capacitor just to filter out any vibration fluctuation in your circuit. You will need a LCD display to display all the processes happening inside uh, your microcontroller and uh, finally you will need some uh, relays to interface uh, your appliances with uh, your circuit. Number of relays you can select as per your uh, number of devices you want to control. If you need more, if you need more devices to control, you can use more uh, relays. Together with all these, we, you also need a USB Tini programmer. You can use, select any other programmer also, but we are using USB Tini. You will also need a PCB on which you will mount all these devices. You will need a 12 volt power supply adapter, which will be used to run this circuit. Once you have all these components, you need to connect your uh, display, your relays, this uh, programming 9 pin connector, capacitor 705 DC connector with your uh, microcontroller as per the circuit diagram shown in the video. Once you are ready with all these uh, connections, we can start programming. Before we start writing our code, we need to check few properties of our microcontroller and we need to change if it's not properly set. The first thing which we need to check is JTAG. Whenever you purchase a microcontroller from any shop, it will have JTAG enabled. JTAG enabled means it will have four pins on port C which will not work as input output pin. So we need to disable the JTAG so that the LCD connected on port C will work properly. The second thing is the frequency of our microcontroller. The new microcontroller will always run at 1 megahertz, but the code which we are showing in our tutorial will work perfectly only if your microcontroller is running at 4 megahertz. So we need to check if it's running at 4 megahertz, otherwise we need to change the microcontroller frequency to 4 megahertz. To start writing code, we will add all the necessary library like STDIO, interrupt, AVRIO and the delay library. Next we need to create few variables to do calculations and store the numbers received from IR sensor. Next we have created an uh, ISR for timer which uh, runs at fixed interval whenever uh, overflow interrupt comes. Next we have created a ISR for external interrupt 0 which is uh, receiving all the bits from the uh, IR receiver and 
calculating or extracting all the numbers which are coming from remote next we have created the main file inside main file we have uh, changed the ddr values to 1 for port a next we have enabled the lcd then we have enabled the external interrupt in function then we have enabled the timer interrupt and this is sci for uh, enabling global interrupt then we have uh, written few statements to display all the numbers received from ir sensor on our lcd display and uh, the final thing which we have done is uh, we checking the numbers received from uh, ir depending upon the number whether it's a 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 or 8 we are changing the appropriate bits of port a to control our devices so by this code we will be able to control eight devices by pressing number 1 from from 1 to 8 on our ir remote to control your devices you can use any remote but sometimes it may be possible that some standard company remote will not work so i would like to suggest you to use low cost devices remote like uh, pen drive player audio player or these type of simple remotes you can use a projector remote maybe some of the tv remote will also work dth remote all these remotes would work but sometimes it may be possible that some companies are using some more encryption in their IR signals. So this code will not be able to extract the numbers from that uh, IR signal. So try to use low cost remote and then uh, press any button which will generate number from 1 to 8 and you will see that the devices connected on port A or the relays connected on port A are toggling whenever you are pressing the 